بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the third part of the enrichment. We will be taking the grammar from unit 2 and these are today's goals to identify the action of the word in a sentence, the use of the past perfect and the past perfect progressive tense to describe a friend, the use of the passive to put the focus on the action and focus here, the passive to put the focus on the action. Remember this goal. The use of the preposition by to include who did the action. To include who did the action or we can call him the doer of the action. Use, uh, the use of the past perfect correctly. Rewrite active sentences as passive sentences. Active and passive sentences. We'll be learning about them. The use of the past perfect progressive correctly. Combine sentences to create one past, per, uh, one past perfect sentence. Combine sentences to create one past progressive sentence. So we'll be creating sentences in the past perfect and the past perfect progressive. In the beginning here, you see two sentences here. The first one, the police accused the men of stealing a car. The police accused the men of stealing a car. Can you, uh, can you pinpoint here the, uh, the subject, the verb, and the object? Okay, let's see them together. The subject here is the police. The subject is the police. The action here, or the verb, is accused, and the object is the men. Again, the subject here is the police. They accused, so this is the action verb here. They accused, and the object here is the men of stealing the car. And you notice that the second sentence here, we rearrange the sentence just a little bit. We said the men were accused of stealing the car. The men were accused of stealing the car. So in the first sentence, the action accused is performed by the subject, the police. So the police here is the doer of the action. The verb accused is an active verb in this sentence. So when the sentence is subject, verb, object, this is an active sentence. The second sentence here, you notice the object men. We moved it to the beginning of the sentence to act as a subject, to act as a subject. It's still an object. The men were accused. This is an action here. The men were accused. This is a passive verb of stealing the car. If you want to add the doer here by the police, it's up to you. If you want to add the doer of the action, you say by the police. So the men here, the men receive the action. The men receive the action. Here the verb accuse is passive. This is the passive form of the sentence. Notice here the men moved from being the object here, the object, to the uh, being the subject, acting as a subject actually. So this is the passive here. This is here is the uh, passive. We use the passive to put the focus on the action. This is why we use the passive. We use the passive to put the focus on the action rather than the doer of the action. Again, we use the passive to put the focus on the action rather than who did the action. This is the main goal of the passive uh, uh, the passive sentence. Whether we know the uh, doer or not, we use it just to focus on the action itself. The passive is formed with be any tense, verb to be with any tense, plus the past participle, plus the past participle. Again, how do you form a passive? We use be with any tense, the present or the past or the future, and then we add the past participle. Here you see some examples. The crime was committed, was here, this is verb to be in the past tense, was committed. This is committed a past participle. The crime was committed early in the morning. The murderer weapon, the murder weapon has been found. The murderer will be, this is a future tense, the murderer will be brought to justice. To include who did the action, or as we named him, the doer of the action, you just add the word by and then you could, put, you could put the name. For example, the burglar was arrested by the police. 
If you want to add more information, who did the action, just write the word by, then put the name. Uh, note here, newspapers often use the passive to report crime stories. Newspapers, they always actually use the, uh, the passive form to report crime stories. So, what's more important in passive sentences? The action or the person or people who did the action? Yes, you're correct. It's the action. That's the main goal of the passive, to put the focus on the action itself. So here in the last lesson from the uh, Listen and Discuss, find more examples of sentences in the passive. Can you, uh, can you pinpoint here any passive sentences here? Yes, that's correct. Had been opened. Uh, so a gate that had been opened, it's a past perfect. Had been opened. Another one here, Newton is being pursued. And they added the doer by a canine unit. Is being pursued. This is a present progressive. Notice the tenses here. Past perfect and present progressive. So this is another uh, sentence here. When Alicia got home, the robbers had already left. When Alicia got home, the robbers had already left. How many actions do we have here? How many events? Yes, we have two. The first one, that Alicia got home. The second one, the robbers left. So we have two actions. The, uh, the first one is Alicia got home, and the uh, second one, robbers had left. Which one happened first? Yes, the robbers left. You see here, it's number one. Alicia got home, this is number two. This is the chronological uh, the order. The robbers left, this is number one. Alicia got home, this is number two. And notice here, we used the past perfect. This is when we use the past perfect, when we have two events, one happened after another in the past. When you have a past event, two past events, one happened after another, this is when we use the past perfect. And we sometimes use the word already, we often use the word already with the past perfect. We often use the word already with the past perfect. We had already left, it means they left and uh, it's done. So the past perfect and the past perfect progressive, let's read it together. We use the past perfect to talk about an activity or event that was completed before another activity or event in the past. So, to say it in other words, we have two events in the past, one happened after another, they are both completed, they are both finished. For example, Riku had forgotten to lock the door before she left the house. So, we had uh, two events that she left, uh, that she forgot to lock the door, and that she left. Can you tell me which one happened first? She forgetting to, uh, forgetting to lock the door, or that she left? Yes, the first one is that she forgot to lock the door. That's where we put the uh, past perfect. We say, Riku had forgotten to lock the door before this is the key word here. This is the word to relate to the, the two sentences. Before she left the house. The second event here, we use the past simple. The second example here, the criminal had already escaped by the time the police arrived. The criminal had already escaped by the time the police arrived. Again, the second event, we use the past simple. We use the past perfect progressive when the activity was in progress, was in progress, was happening. And uh, at a time, uh, at the time another activity or event happened in the past. Again, we use the past perfect progressive when an activity was in progress at the time another activity or event happened in the past. So unlike the past perfect where one happened after another, no. This time, they both happened at the same time. They are crossed again. For, for example, here, one had been getting cash from the ATM when he was mugged. So, he wanted to get the cash. This is in progress. He wanted to get the cash from the ATM. What happened during that? He got mugged. So, we have two events that crossed each other. 
one had been getting cash from the ATM when, the word when, this is the connection here, he was mugged. Another example here, the driver had been swerving between lanes, had been swerving, this is in progress, this took time, between lanes when, this is the connecting word, the police officer stopped him. We use the past tense in the other event, when the police officer stopped him. So find more examples of the past perfect. Can you find examples here from the past perfect? Yes, that's correct here. The car, the robbers had stolen. The robbers had stolen. Excellent. Here's a language builder for you. In many cases, we can use either the past perfect or the, or the simple past or even the past progressive. However, the past perfect helps makes the order of the events clearer. So you can use either the past perfect or the simple past, but using the past perfect will make it more clear to understand the chronological order of the events. So rewrite the active sentences here as passive sentences. So you have an active sentence, just rewrite it as a passive sentence. The first one is already done for you. Uh, the police found the suspect wearing a cow costume. So the police found the suspect wearing a cow costume. This is an active. How do we turn it into passive? We begin again, yes, that's correct, with the object, which is the suspect. The suspect was found, yes, wearing a cow costume. So can you do number one here? A 92-year-old grandmother chased and caught the criminal. If you want to answer, first find the subject, the verb, and the object. The first thing you do, take the object, put it in the beginning of the sentence, then take the verb. Yes, that's correct. So how do we, how do we answer number one? Yes, that's correct. So the object here is the criminal. So the criminal was chased was chased yes because it's in the past was chased and caught by by so we wanted to add who chased him by a 92 year old grandmother excellent number two the police discovered 54 money boxes in the suspect's home the police discovered 54 money boxes in the suspect's home again begin with the object Yes, that's correct. 54 many boxes, this is the object, were discovered, were discovered, this is the past participle, in the suspect's home. 54 many boxes were discovered in the suspect's home. You're excellent, you're really getting it. Number three, police found the suspect hiding in a trash can. Again, begin with the object. Police found Police found who? This is the object here. Yes, that's correct, the suspect. So we begin with the suspect. That's correct, the suspect was found hiding in a trash can. Now you're getting the hang of it. Number four, the jury found the suspect guilty of stealing 40,000 worth of bananas. $40,000 worth of bananas. So he stole a lots of bananas. So. Yes, that's correct. The suspect was found guilty of stealing 40,000 worth of uh, bananas. By whom? Who's the doer here? Yes, that's correct. By the jury. Number five here, the police will fine him for littering the sidewalk. The police will fine him for littering the sidewalk. This is an easy one. Yes, you're correct. He will be fined for littering the sidewalk. He will be fined. So this is a future tense. He will be fined for littering the sidewalk. Uh, exercise B here, write the newspaper headlines as full passive sentences. Killer sentenced to die for second time. Notice the newspaper headlines, uh, they use the passive, but sometimes they remove the, uh, some of the words here. So how do we write it in a full passive sentence? as the first one is already done. A killer has been sentenced to die for the second time. So you notice that when the uh, newspaper, they write their headlines, they use the passive, that's correct, but sometimes they remove some 
words just to make the title shorter for the readers to, uh, uh, to make it easier on the readers. So the first one here, man accused of driving stolen car to court. Of course, by reading it, you know it's missing few words. Can you write it, the full passive sentence? Yes, that's correct. A man has been accused of driving a stolen car to court. Excellent. What about number two? Man jailed for driving too fast. Man jailed for driving too fast. This is an easy one, actually. Yes, that's correct. A man was jailed for driving too fast. And so on. Number three, break-in suspect found asleep in house. So, yes, that's correct. A break-in suspect was found asleep in the house. Number four, man found guilty of stealing candy from child. Man found guilty of stealing candy from child. Yes, a man has been found guilty of stealing candy from a child. Number five, man arrested for not paying library fines. Yes, a man has been arrested for not paying library fines. Number six, businessman fined $35 for illegal parking. So, yes, some businessmen have been found, has been fined, have been fined uh, $35 for parking illegally. Combine the sentences to create one past perfect or past perfect progressive sentences. The first one is already done for you. We have two events here. The first one, Marco was walking down a poorly lit street, poorly lit, it, which means the lights are low. Uh, the second event, he was mugged. He was mugged. So we have two sentences, two events. We want to combine them together either with the past perfect or the past perfect progressive. So the first one is already done. Marco had been walking down a poorly lit street when he was mugged. So this is, we used the, here the past perfect uh, progressive. So the first one, the first event, Tanya was talking on the phone. Tanya was talking. So talking here is progressive. On the phone, the second event, she heard an intruder in the house. So this is, these are the two events, and we have the word when. So how do we answer this one? This one is actually easy. Yes, that's correct. Tanya had been talking on the phone when she heard an intruder in the house. Excellent. Number two, the first event, he was a trusted politician. He was a trusted politician. Second event, he was arrested for stealing state funds. So he was a trusted uh, politician. This one is past perfect, of course. He was arrested for stealing state funds. And we have the word before. Before. So now we know we have two events. One is after another. Yes, that's correct. Before he was arrested for stealing state funds, comma, he had been, uh, he had been a trusted politician. The third one, uh, luckily, I installed an alarm. The second event, the robbery took place. And also we have the word before. So how do we answer this one? Yes, so we have two events. One happened after the other. Luckily, I had installed an alarm before the robbery took place. Excellent. Number four, he was jogging. He got into his car. And also the word before. Yes, before he got into his car, he had been jogging. Excellent. Number five here, the first event, my wallet was stolen. My wallet was stolen. The second event, I didn't have any money. So, and also the word because. So how do we answer that? Yes, that's correct. I didn't have any money because my wallet had been stolen. Because my wallet had been stolen stolen. Excellent. The next exercise here, look at the pictures on page 23. So open your books on page 23. Make up a story about it. Include passive, past perfect, 
and the past perfect progressive sentences and answer these questions. So everything that we learned today, try to add them to your story, whether the events uh, came one after each other or did they cross each other, and also use the passive to make it interesting and focus on the action and answer these questions. What had the man been doing earlier in the day? Why had the police officer pulled the car over? Do you think the man was arrested? Why or why not? Again, what had the man been doing earlier in the day? Why had the police officer pulled the car over? The third one, do you think the man was arrested? Why or why not? And with that, we reach to the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, insha'Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu Allah, la'anta astaghfirku wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.